Hi everyone and welcome to Sparkles, the show where we prove crafting is messy by making a mess. So for those of you who don't know, on November 11th, which in North America is Remembrance Day, on AliExpress is 11-11, which is some uh, national holiday. And with that, they do a lot of sales. It's sort of like the Asian version of Black Friday. Uh, big, big discounts and stuff. So I ordered a couple of uh, what's called Fukubudu or Lucky Bags or Lucky Boxes. They're kind of like mystery bags, but um, you get really good prices on them and the discounts are good. So I ordered two. One is supposed to be washi tapes and one is supposed to be sequins for card making. They came from two different stores. So I believe this one is the sequins. And if it is the sequins, I believe the sequins came from... So the, uh, the sequins came from Hello Card Store. And the other one is a box of washi tape. So let's start off with the sequins. Um, so I'm just going to open the bag here. Hi, Munchkin. And as you can see, I have my Munchkin here. Um, we are still a little locked down, so it's good fun. Ready? Okay, so now this bag promised to have a bunch of sequins. Wow, so let's look. These are all advertised as coming from Alina Craft on YouTube. So I will try and see what I can do about that linking or finding it um, but like I said they did come from the hello card um, so we have some ooh a nice big bag of some gorgeous pink sequins I want to see. I see. oh and these are some green it looks like hearts and it looks like there are some solid hearts and some heart shape um, outlines. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Oh, and this one here is some clear or iridescent, and I want to say those look like flowers. So those are cute. Now, this came out to under $16 delivery included, so not a bad price at all, and I mean, there is a nice stack of sequins Thank here. Oh. So these are some small orange flowers. I really like these. These are really cute. Can I put that right there? Yeah. This one here looks like it's gems, actually. Um, and so it's some nice blue iridescent gems. And they've definitely got a bit of a, a pop-up to them. So they're a little bit 3D. These are some sea beads. Uh, I don't know that I would call them sequins, but they are some cute seed beads. I don't know what I will do with those. I'm not, not a big fan of seed beads. They are a little small for my taste. This one here is, uh, just like those green ones, this one here is in pink, and it's hearts with the outlines and the, the cutouts. Oh, this is cute. This is a nice winter or christmas mix it's got pearls it's got um some what looks like um sprinkles that you would put on top of a cupcake it's got what i believe to be are some mitts and some snowflakes so that's a really cute mixture i really like that can one we, can we have it, can we have it? this one here is some um, purple and it's just a a clear rhinestone um, so those should look very nice this is some citrus fruits and they're more like the resin flatback cutouts the thin um, what you would add to something like um, a slime that's what they look like those little I don't want to call them cabochons but those little Sprinkle toppers. So, this one here is very silver. 
and it looks like it is possibly teeny tiny hearts, I would say, by the looks of it. My camera will focus. Mom, I don't know how much that's picking up. It's, I'm looking at them. Uh, but there is quite a lot. These are quite big bags. I would say there's definitely a few grams in there. Uh, these ones here are some more of those uh, shaped. They almost look like sugar sprinkles, but I know they're not. Uh, they're pink, white, and blue. So definitely cute for something like a baby card. Uh, as for shape... Based on the white, I'm going to say clouds. Um, but this shape is a lot less obvious than I would say some are. And this is another nice mix. We've got what seems to be some blue and gold. Uh, those look like they might be snowmen. And some... There's definitely some snowflakes. I see those right up there. And it looks like just some random assorted shapes. Um, or at least some of those are snowmen. I'm not sure they all are. No, one of those is definitely a balloon and a bell. And if anyone can identify what that shape might be, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Uh, yeah, so there's all kinds of shapes here. I'm just not 100% sure what they all are. Oh, there's a party hat down here. All kinds. This one here is some pretty standard light purple lavender style uh, sequins. This one here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wait, there's going to be screams of excitement when I show this to Munchkin. These are the heads of a favorite character, so those will most definitely get used. Hey, Munchkin, who's that? What's Min that? Minnie Mouse! Is that Minnie? Yeah. Is that your Minnie Mouse? Yeah. And that's our Minnie Mouse. I, I see Minnie! She's excited now. Those are Minnie Mouse sequins. We'll have fun with those. So I'm going to say those are going to Arts and Crafts with my daughter. These are some red sequins. Those are actually a nice color of red. I really like that. They're sequins. They're sequins. Yeah, wow, I see them. Yeah, and so this one here is another mix. It looks like moons. The purple looks like stars. They look the same. They do, I know. And it looks like there's some black dots in there as well. So it looks like silver moons, purple stars, what and some black dots. Do I Shh. Not too loud. And remember those orange flowers? We have them in yellow as well. Over here we have, oh, oh, do you see what I see? Because I know what I see. What's those, that? Those are another Minnie Mouse. That's another Minnie Mouse? Yeah. You love those, eh? Yeah. Yeah, are we going to play with those? Yeah. Yeah. They, they look the same again. They do, don't they? Yeah. Okay, and those are some, some pretty pink rhinestones. Yeah. So that is what came in the uh, box of assorted sequins. I quite enjoyed that that was definitely good value for less than sixteen dollars um no now this box comes from the candy diy store and it promises to have 10 uh rolls of washi tape so i'm curious to see what we got again under sixteen dollars delivered Shh. wait lunch again let's see what we got here oh boy and this was packaged like the dickens um, it was so yes. taped up. It was amazing. So let's see what we have. Let's see, Munchkin. I want to see. Yeah. So the first one we have here is very light. Very, very light. Mom, can you 
Do you need help? Nope, and it's got a little bit of spots on it, but honestly, in person, you can't see them. I see them more through the camera and on the roll than I do. I mean, that's what the roll looks like. That's a pretty accurate representation. So there's one. Two is this blue pattern. I do like that one. Kind of like a woven fabric type pattern. And it's nice and wide. Three is just a basic silver. And you know what? That's actually really useful. There's quite a few things I can do with a basic silver. Oh. This one here is marked kind of like a measuring tape. So that's really cute. And that's number four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, they definitely gave me more than ten, I'll tell you that. I've got what looks like thirteen here, so they were generous. This looks like images of girls. You can see this girl here is reading a book. And this one here. I'm not sure about that one. It's not my favorite, but I can see some use for it. Now this one here has... What looks to be cabins printed on it, but I'll be honest, the printing on it, I'm not sure if it's just how see-through the washi is or what. So let's take it, open it. Okay, so this has buildings. So those are some cute scenes. I can see that getting some use. And they were generous with the thick washi. Uh, this one looks like it's trees and lanterns. Again, hard to see because it's quite thin washy. But there's the picture you can see. Yeah. yeah. This one here, it looks like it is, oh, uh, anime type figures. Girls, anime girls. Not sure about that one. This one is frames, so little photo frames, square frames. I can see some use for that, um, especially cut up. I don't know. This one is a nice pattern, and it's just geometric designs by the looks of it. So you can see here. Just a sort of design. So that might make some nice border paper. This is masking tape diamonds. What is this? A man is not old until he regrets the place, until regrets take the place of dreams. Well, that's wise. A little hopeless, but wise. Okay, and so this one here is pink diamonds. So that's cute. There you go. This one here is masking tape and it looks like roses. And I would say, oh, she's a tiny. That's the width of it, guys. She is tiny. Very fine. Very fine. And this last one here is masking tape. And feed me. Mom, can we open it? No, not right now, my love. Because oh. I have some rubbish things. Some of those we're going to play with later. Yeah, it seems to say, in feet me. In feet me. In feel me. In feel me. Okay? It's not the words I was expecting to read there, but let's go with it. And I am struggling hard with this box, so I am pretty much going to end up wrecking it just to get this out. Yeah, this box is toast. Oh, yeah. There is no way this is coming out. It's very tight. But it is some nice roses, and I like them, actually. That's quite classic. 
So, that is the washi tape. I would say I definitely feel like the sequins were a much better deal over the washi tape. Uh, the washi tape, there's definitely less of it than I will use than the sequins. But, thank you for joining. So, in case you're wondering, we have all kinds of washi tape. And... A big old pile of sequins. Thank you for joining and have a wonderful day.